Hello music producers, in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Studio by Studio Link. Let's start off by clicking on the menu button located at the top right of the plugin. Now you can browse for 3D renderings of legendary recording studios. Let's go ahead and click over to Top Floor Music Studios. And now next time you load up the plugin, this is the image that you'll see. Let's go ahead next and click on Patchwork Recording Studios. At any time, if you want to learn more about the studio that is selected, simply click on the info icon. And now a description on that studio's history is presented. Click on the studio image to enter the sound browser. This page is made up of four main categories, presets, instruments, sounds, and patterns. Instruments are playable multi-sampled instruments. Sounds are a list of loops and one-shots. Patterns are royalty-free MIDI chord progressions and melodies. And presets are multis, combinations of multi-samples and one-shots to create layered instruments. Next, use the built-in search engine to quickly find the type of instrument you are looking for. Preview an instrument. Simply hover over the name and a play button appears. Select this instrument by drag and drop onto one of the four colored layers. Now that you have an instrument selected, you could play your own chords and melodies via a MIDI controller. You can adjust the sample zones octaves up or down. You can add global effects as well as individual effects. You can also click on patterns and drag in a MIDI pattern. Whether you're looking for a quick spark to get an idea going or a music theory workaround, the patterns mode will be your best friend. Here you have a giant list of royalty free MIDI that you can use in your beats. And just like type beats, you have type MIDI. Use the search engine to filter the list. Type in some of your favorite artists like Drake, Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Eminem, or Little Baby. And at any time, select the MIDI by drag and drop onto your selected instrument. Okay, so now let's go under our sounds tab and let's find some loops and one shots that we can manipulate, flip them. Um, let's find a cool sample. Let's just type in the word sample in our search engine. Um, let's go ahead and drag in this heat sample. It's at BPM 110 in the key of D minor. So right now it's in re-pitch mode. So let's go ahead and play it. Okay, so it's not time stretched yet, but to time stretch it, all we gotta simply do is click on the sync button, and now let's listen to it. Okay, so now what we could do as well is you have built-in time stretching features. We can go ahead and half time it if we want. What's also pretty cool is that you could reverse any of the samples. So let's go ahead and reverse. You can also play around with the pitch Next, let's go ahead and do a little bit of sound design using some one shots. So we're under our sounds tab where our one shots and our loops are. Let's go ahead and find some one shots. We can go ahead and click on a mallet. Let's drag that in and then we could stretch it across the octave so that it becomes a playable instrument. Perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead next and find a pad to go along with it. And let's see here, perfect. Let's go ahead and find a pad. Let's just drag and drop it in. 
And what we could do is stretch it across the same zones. So now they're playing together. And what we could do is we want that pad to loop. So we could add some looping points by adjusting the loop. And then what we could do is we can grab the section here and add some crossfade to it. That's perfect. So next, let's go ahead and add a texture to it. So we'll add, type in text and let's find something that a fit in here. That would be really cool to add some bells into it. And what we'll do is we'll stretch those bells across that octave as well. So now let's hear it all together. Now at any time, what you could do is you could adjust the ADSR of any of the samples as well. You can adjust that. Let's go ahead and adjust it even a little bit more. Feature I love is at any time, if I want to save that instrument I just designed, let's go ahead and do so. We'll name it Mallet Super Dope. We'll go ahead and click enter. So now it's saved. And when I go under presets, under my content, you can see the mallet super dope. 